so we are at <laughs> the state park at Gulf Shores for a morning jog. And the beach is right over there. There's waysides. Waysides, hey, what do we got here? How are you connected to America's seas? People are drawn to these warm waters. For many thousands of years, the Gulf has given us beautiful sunsets and put dinner on the table, even before there was a table. <laughs> <laughs> the Gulf of Mexico's waters are alive with unimaginable amounts of life. Animals of all kinds, fish, birds, and even us rely on these very connected waters. The Gulf is often called America's Sea. In North America alone, water from 31 U.S. states and two Canadian provinces flows into the Gulf. Even the Chattahoochee. Even the Chattahoochee. When you are brushing your teeth in Tennessee, making dinner in Montana, washing your new car in Nebraska, or irrigating corn in Iowa, the water you're using is flowing toward the Gulf. The Gulf gives, us, gives it right back to you. Much of the rain falls on the crops and cools us. On hot summer days comes from clouds formed with water from the Gulf. Every day the Gulf impacts you and you impact it. Who knew? Oh, there's the start of the Mississippi River. Wow. The Mississippi River starts its long journey at Lake Itasca in Minnesota. Karen's land. Karen's adopted. Yeah. Very fun. <clears throat> Are you excited? Yes. Stacy loves to run. And these are wonderful areas. Guess it's not open yet. Is Guess it Sunday? Not. Must be. Oh, Sunday. The facility facility might actually be closed on Sunday. Look at this. Look at this scenery. It's nice here. It's real wild. Yeah. Like if you want, it, it's probably protected from development. That's always good. We don't need more condos. There's so many condos, and there's like they're like huge. We need more mom and pop places. Little, almost sketchy motels, two, three stories, with some surly guy behind the desk. That's what we need. So this is the park and, con and con uh, interpretive center right here, at, right inside Gulf Shores. You can't miss it from the road. It looks like that. This area is known as Florabama because it's right where Florida and Alabama meet. I don't think the area is known as that. There's a truck, there's a restaurant called Florabama. Okay, there's a restaurant called Florabama. Stacy just corrected me. I like you don't know anything, you're just giving information. I, I like to think of this whole area as Florabama. You can say that. <laughs> I'll do some research, maybe. He's just making stuff up. You gotta double check our facts. We're just saying things. <laughs> Whatever the place is called, it's beautiful. Here we have a little board with better facts than I have. Campground Center, Nature Center, Lake Shelby Picnic Area, Pedestrian Bridge West, Lodge, Beachside Restaurant, yada yada yada. I think we want to go to the right. Okay, to the right it is.
I really like this boardwalk. As you can see, they built it straight out in this marshland that you would absolutely not be able to access without this. This is really neat, I like this. The wetlands are a miracle. They're a filter, which is cool, between farming and man's practices. They filter out a lot of stuff and slowly release the water to the land. Because nothing in nature is like wasted. Right, it's not really technically a miracle. It's just something God did. Right. For provision. It's not like a miracle. It's not outside of nature. I love wetlands because they're just teeming with life. Man has very practical ideas about land and how it should be used. But some things you shouldn't be messed with. This walkway that they've built through here is, I think, the absolute best use of this land. Make a pathway for people to see it up close, understand, and gain a new appreciation for these wonderful areas. Some kind of oak. See the acorns? Mm -hmm. Now on concrete, Rosemary Dunes. So we came on Beach Mouse Bypass. Yes. Remember this is called Rosemary Trail? Oh yeah, Rosemary. Is it Rosemary? It is Rosemary. Don't get my nose on the camera. <laughs> I don't need my nose like filling up the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I smell it. I won't. Rosemary, one of the essential spices. Hey, check it. Hey, corns.
no idea what that is, but it looks like some kind of pine or cedar. Interesting. There's more of them. A higher bush. Oops. We've come off Rosemary Dunes Trail. Now we're on a, another boardwalk heading toward the Nature Interpretive Center or something like that. So we'll see. Okay, so this has a map on it. Okay. Beach Mouse. Beach Mouse, that's the bypass. So we came here, and now, oh, we're here. We didn't make it to the butterfly area. Oh. All right, so we are here. So we go up there, we can go to the butterfly garden. Which will put us exactly. back toward Rosemary Dunes. Yeah, it would be that way. So just make a right and a right. Yeah, so right. And then Rosemary Dunes takes you to Beach Mouse. Yeah. But look at all the stuff that's here. There's a lot of stuff here. Alligator Marsh, Bobcat Branch. Ooh. Are there bobcats? So Lake Shelby is where we first came in. <coughs> and we came this way. Came. No, I thought we were at the interpretive center. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, interpretive center. Now we came. Beach Mouse Bypass. And then we got off, and then we wandered over here. It was like, what? And then yeah. we went this way. <laughs> and then we cut up here. Yes. An armadillo trail is down here. Campground trail strikes me as having a bunch of campgrounds. So, probably not where we want to be. Well, I mean, there's the campground. Oh, I see, yes. So, people at the campground have a trail, too. Why are you snob about campgrounds? Snob. I am, okay? Snob, snob. Look at me, I'm a snob. There's, this is, like, way more intricate than we knew. Like, I thought oh, it was, yeah. like, one circle. Yeah, there's a lot to this. The land is very diverse because you'll have areas of nothing but pine or scrubby low stuff and then you'll have miniature like scrub oak forests. Varying little natural neighborhoods 
within an ecosystem. It's really neat. Watch out behind me, Tom Sawyer. People are riding bikes. Stacy likes to call me Tom Sawyer. He's Tom Sawyer because he just walks wherever he wants to go and he's not, he doesn't have situational awareness that someone's barely down him on a bicycle at 70 miles an hour. Okay, so I've always liked this lichen that we keep seeing. Reindeer moss. This tiny plant is actually a lichen and a real lifesaver. Despite being small, called the wrong name, and not having any roots, it has the confidence to stand up to hurricanes. Get some help. Here's how. This little guy focuses on building relationships and teaming up. They spread out across the sandy soil alongside plants like Florida rosemary and sand live oaks, both of which we've seen. The tiny lichens work together to hold up these sandy tertiary dunes together. They're tiny but tight grasp does a lot to prevent erosion and limit the impacts of storms. That's cool. It doesn't have any roots. No, it's just there. It's amazing. You can just pick it up and look at it. Just stick it back down, it'll just stick. <laughs> like Velcro. Like Velcro. Here's more rosemary. I love rosemary. And the lichen, the reindeer moss, as they call it. It's educational for me. What? What is this? Backcountry Trail Boulder Park. Climbing is an inherently dangerous activity. Please climb at your own risk. You know what that means. I can climb it. They're not real boulders. You have to find the little handholds and stuff. But look out, there's a storm on Everest. Oh no. <laughs> the other day is not to bring my fedora. Why do you want to wear your fedora when you do actiony stuff? Actiony stuff? I think you just answered your own question. <laughs> so s silly. Tell me you have no rock climbing experience without telling me you have no rock
Well, half of the hand grips are coming out, so. <laughs> are you stuck up there? Oh, no, no. Do you want me to help you? I'm never stuck up here as long as we have gravity. <laughs> You're literally four inches off the ground. Okay, yay. <laughs> what can't you live without? Milkweed? Is this the butterfly garden thing? I don't know, when you say interpretive center, I think there's gonna be a wayside. Yeah. I'm not seeing a lot of butterflies. This looks like Bougainvillea. Someone let me know in the comments what this is. Oh, look at that tree. That's pretty. So the question is, what is this thing? I have no idea. Yes, I'm about to take that slide. Oop. Attention, alligator habitat. Please be aware of the presence of the American alligator in this area. Do not feed, aggravate, or otherwise harass these animals. Alligators can be dangerous, particularly if cornered or provoked. We appreciate your cooperation. Please enjoy the wildlife in the U.S. Branyan Backcountry Trail.
see where he went? Um, I said, man, if you didn't keep that going, just keep standing and they're gone. That's the first time I've ever but seen that. Got, oh, there he is. You probably got a good picture. 